Hello, all you beautiful, wonderful, and gorgeous people. Craptastic Jack here, and today I'm going to be showing off my PlayStation 3 collection updated. Now, when I just got my channel about a year ago, I had a collection of my PlayStation 3 games, and there's about four games. Now, I'm glad to say that collection has grown. So, without further ado, let's get started. Oh, and by the way, Kill a, st kill a Stunt and Pro King, one of, the, one of the lovely trolls that likes to troll my channel. If you were watching this, no, my mom and dad, my mom and dad did not buy these games for me. I bought these all by myself. So, well, some. <laughs> I'm kidding, most of them. Like one or two, I got as gifts, but other than that, yeah. And one of them I got from a friend, from my friend of mine. Without further ado, we shall get started with Assassin's Creed. Now, this is the only Assassin's Creed game I have because Assassin's Creed 3 came out and you're probably all like wondering, why didn't you get Assassin's Creed 3? And I can tell you why. I went to start the trilogy off and get the story. Even though Assassin's Creed 3 doesn't have the same storyline as Assassin's Creed, it's still a great game. And I want to go in order, so yes. But I forget which one comes first, Brotherhood or the other titled one. If you give me a heads up on which one it is, that'd be in the drop down box, that'd be gladly accepted. Alright, next one we have is Midnight Club Los Angeles. I got ripped off by GameStop. This stupid thing. I'm too lazy to put on decent covers. But anyway. This game is wonderful and is a great improvement from Minute Club 3, which was extremely difficult in my book. And now it's easier, but it's still pretty hard. But this game's awesome. You get a large variety of vehicles and customization. And it's just like Need for Speed Underground, but better. So, yeah. And I would largely um, recommend it. Next we have Test Drive Unlimited 2. I've been a fan of Test Drive since I was 2 when I was playing my dad's version of Test Drive on the Amiga. Yeah. And, yeah. So yes, Test Drive Unlimited 2. I like it, but it could be better. Yeah. For some flaws and stuff. And going 102, sorry, 200 miles per hour. I feel like you're going like 100 miles per hour. So yeah, not a good sense of speed in this game as there was in the previous ones, but it's more of a simulation than an arcade racer would be, like Need for Speed, but who knows, it's still pretty good. Yes. And my favorite racing game that came out of 2011, Driver San Francisco. Now, this game, if you saw my review on my website, this, this game was awesome. And it just takes the racing game franchise and pulls its strings out and puts in new tides and makes its own storyline. So it's kind of like Grand Theft Auto, only you don't steal cars, you shift into them whenever you want. Like, I could be driving down a road in a friggin' Dodge Caravan and I see this Lamborghini coming, progresses with a button, I can switch. That's how awesome this game is. And I would really recommend it. Ubisoft did a great job with this game. Alright, next one is Mod Nation Racers. This was one of the original games I had that came with, that I got with PlayStation 3. And it really doesn't work that much because I got used and ripped off by GameStop again. But, so yeah. But, yeah. I don't really, really recommend it. It's not that great. It's just Mario Kart rip off. Alright, next we have. Battlefield Bad Company 2. This game is amazing. Lots of people say that Call of Duty was designed for Xbox and Battlefield designed for PlayStation. This game defines that logic. This game is epic. You get a large variety of guns, a large variety of maps, and the maps are like huge. They're like five, wait, sorry, no, sorry, they're like three maps. Of Call of Duty into one map. There's several, so I would definitely recommend this. And you could use vehicles. You could drive vehicles, unlike Call of Duty. 
and they don't require kill streaks, but this game's still fun. I I definitely recommend it over Model for Two, and even on the box art it says that so on the back. So yes. Next we have a platformer that made by Ubisoft and is really good, and it is Rayman Origins. My brother got me this for my birthday when I turned 13, and yeah, it's decent. That's all I can say. Alright, next one. Now, my favorite French, favorite racing game franchise, Need for Speed. And we got it starting off, my Need for Speed collection, in this review with Need for Speed Undercover. This game is is the eyesore of the Need for Speed franchise. This is when EA went. So yes, the game is. I don't recommend it. Just don't. It's not that great. Physics engine's horrible. You can be going two hundred miles per hour. And you feel like you're going five. Not that great. But then, just when EA was about to go down, down, and I was about to lose hope in Need for Speed, up, they went. By choosing Criterion to make the Need for Speed game, next Need for Speed game, and we got Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, and this game blew me away. This game was awesome. Never before have I been able to actually enjoy an online experience with Need for Speed. I did not enjoy it in Undercover, and I did not enjoy it in Shift. So that's the reason why I sold Shift. So, but this game. Oh, it just blew me away. I love it a lot, and I definitely recommend it. It is awesome. You can get fairly cheap for like $20 now, but the graphics are well, good. Everything's well. Going 200 miles per hour actually feels like going 200 miles per hour. It's, I recommend it. That's all I can say. It's just really good. Next, we have a simulation by Slightly Mad Studios, and that is Need for Speed Shift 2. Or, yes. Un shift unleashed. This game was shift with better. It's better. You get night driving, which was an improvement for shift, better graphics, and better overall performance, and it's just better online multiplayer as well. And pretty cool. It's way better. You get extensive car, car list, and uh, but one thing I was saddened with. Is that they brought back Ferraris for Shift, but they didn't do that for Shift 2. And the reason why it's Ferraris aren't in Need for Speed games anymore is because they don't like to see their cars getting smashed. So, yeah, but they do it in realistic things. They don't like them seeing being in street races. Which is totally odd because Ferraris are in the Test Drive series, and they're street racing. Well, most. Need for Speed The Run. This game... Protagonist takes the same name as me. What can I say? It's a popular name, and it's not. It's about. It's it's not as good as Hot Pursuit, but it's better than Undercover. So it's in the middle there. They use.